Okay, so this is a little film about model steam locomotive um, lubrication of bearings, axle box bearings, because most steam locomotives like Titch and Simplex and Juliet just have a hole in the top of the bearing and you squirt the oil in and if you're lucky the oil goes round. But that's the worst possible place to have a hole in the bearing because when the hydrodynamic wedge builds up that's the very place that lets everything go. So <clears throat> I've got a way here of making proper bearings that I wanted to share with you. My bearings are, are quite prototypical because what we've got is a felt pad in the bottom of the bearing here. This is the underkeep and this bit removes and the bearing is in two halves. So how does the oil get into there from the oil can? Well this is the clever bit. <clears throat> In the end of the axle, I don't know whether you can see, but what we've got is a little brass plug. And when you unscrew that brass plug, there is behind it a spring-loaded ball. And what that spring-loaded ball sits against the seat here. And when we put the oil can against the end this is like sawing a woman in half in public. So when we put the plug back in, come on Richard, get a grip. So there we go, the plug's going back in. Now watch what happens. Of course the end of the axle is accessible. When we are steaming the loco, you put the oil can into the end and you squirt and what happens is that the oil appears through the radial hole. Can you see? There. Now, that radial hole has a groove all the way round and that groove allows the oil to go into the pad. So when it's all together and we squirt, sorry that's the wrong way round, and we squirt from here upwards as we squirt in the end the oil goes into the pad. The pad then puts oil on the underside of the axle and whichever way the rotation is happening the axle draws the oil up to the top where there is no hole and the lubrication is perfect. So I hope that's sensible. 